Good morning. Uh, my name is Andre Fredette. I work on SDN with Red Hat, and I'm going to be talking this morning about using Open Daylight Netvert uh, solution as an SDN controller for OpenStack. So, uh, looking at the kind of overall view of how this how this works, Netvert is a network virtualization solution for for OpenStack or in, in general, and it provides support for Neutron uh, interface. So, at the top level. There is the networking ODL um, project that, that eff effectively provides the uh, plugin, Neutron plugin for Open Daylight. There's an ML2 driver, uh, L3 plugin, plugins for the other services. Those communicate with uh, Open Daylight over a REST API. And uh, within Open Daylight, there are several components that implement this, uh, this service. Uh, at, the, at the top end is the Neutron northbound, which receives the Neutron commands or Neutron um, configuration, um, stores it in the, the central MD cell <coughs> database. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, Netvert uh, uses this configuration, create net, uh, network, create ports, um, routers, and develops the uh, network model and configuration for the, the data path to implement the uh, features. Uh, so. It, it then uses, as southbound protocols, OVSDB to create and configure the bridges, and, and OVSDB, uh, I'm sorry, OVSDB to do the bridges, and then OpenFlow to program the data path for forwarding packets. Uh, so I'm talking about NetVert. Some people, if, if you've been familiar with Open Daylight and what's been going on, it was both OVSDB and NetVert were part of the same project up until just recently, a couple of weeks ago, uh, but they're, they're kind of different Things uh, OVSDB is uh, is more of a is a southbound protocol that is used by many different applications, and, and Netvert is uh, is an application for a specific purpose, and they it, they run at different layers, and it made sense uh, to break them apart so they can be developed independently. So just a, a little, little uh, view of the the big picture of uh, of Open Daylight. You probably can't read all of this. Um, you know, maybe later if you look at it closely, but there. There's, if you look at Open Daylight, there's a, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a really a platform, an SDN platform, on which you can develop many different applications for many different use cases. At the top end is, the, is, some, is a set of APIs, REST, NetComp, et cetera. In the middle, you'll see the uh, um, network services and applications. And at the bottom end is this, are the southbound protocols. We talked about OVSDB and OpenFlow. There are a, a number of others, SNMP, uh, et cetera. You can see them all across the bottom. So, uh, and these are all integrated as part of the, the service abstraction layer, we, or they call it the MDSAL, Model Driven Service Abstraction Layer, that uses, is based on uh, Yang network modeling uh, language uh, to describe the, the data model and the interfaces for each application and allow them to communicate and work and allow the services then to be pieced together as needed to build applications. Um, the MD SAL layer also provides messaging and synchronization for, a it provides a distributed database for clustering. So it's kind of a, um, uh, where are you now? Um, for this particular application, we're just using a subset of all this, all this work uh, the, that I showed you on that, that small picture, the nor Neutron Northbound, NetVert, a couple of protocols and then this MD SAL layer to tie it all together. And then we work with uh, both OV Open vSwitch primarily, and then we are um, in the process of uh, supporting layer two gateways using the, use the, the hardware VTEP schema. So what, what exactly does NetVert do? So NetVert, as I said earlier, gets the, the configuration from Neutron. It, it then takes this configuration and actually programs the devices so that they can support the, the, the functionality for communication across networks, between routers to the internet, um, and maintain tenant isolation, et cetera. So if you look at a simple solution, a uh, simple uh, example where you have two compute nodes, each of them has a, a two VMs on two different networks. Um, we would have, from Neutron, gotten information about creating the, the, the adding the port, uh, creating the networks, adding the ports, creating a router not shown here. And, and et cetera, uh, some, maybe some floating IP address configuration. We would take that and say, ah, okay, so we're gonna need to connect these two compute nodes so some of these VMs could, could uh, can talk, so we'll set up a, a tunnel, VXLAN tunnel, 
We support other VLANs and GRE as well, but primarily VXLAN is, uh, is used. Set up the tunnel, and then we'll set up the flows to allow them to, to communicate. Yes? We, the most common use case uses VXLAN overlay. Uh, however, this NetVert also supports VLANs and GRE tunneling. What's that? Okay. All right. Um, so the flows will allow, say, VM1 to talk to VM4 on the same network. That's all layer two switching. It's all distributed. Uh, there are no agents involved, no layer two agent, no layer three agent. Communication goes directly from <coughs> VM to the first OVS switch directly to the, the last OVS switch and out to the VM. Um, that's the red flows you see there, blue flows VM uh, 2 to 3. If VM 1 needs to talk to VM 3, I think that's the way I have it, um, it would, that's a routing uh, step that would go through the flows uh, on that first bridge and uh, we'd term needs to go to a different network, rewrite the header, and then send it directly to wherever it needs to go. It's just showing two nodes here. It could be a lot more complicated, of course. Um, and for going, say, outside of this network, uh, where the, the use of uh, NAT is required, um, that's shown as the VM1 out to the internet flow. It would, it would go through a, uh, a network address translation step, also on that first bridge, um, swap it to the, the floating IP, and send it out. Um, in addition to all this, we also support a distributed ARP to reduce uh, ARP broadcast uh, storms on the network, so each, each switch is uh, programmed to answer ARPs for whatever is, uh, is reachable, basically, from that node. So we do this by means of, uh, at, in addition to the configuration using OVSDB, we uh, do this by means of programming a data pipeline in, the, in OVS. This is uh, a, a picture of it. Um, it, uh, and I'm not going to go through in this in detail, but those simple L2 flows, for example, would come in on a port, get classified as uh, d to describe what network a tenant they belong to, go through several lookups, determine us the layer two lookup, and it, it'll we'll know what port to send it out and send it out the tunnel on the other end, goes through a similar pipeline and delivers it to the VM. So I have uh, here, I'm the, you, you can't read this, and I'm not going to go over it, but if you want to look at this later, just some example uh, open flow flows that um, might be used for doing a, uh, setting up a network like this. Um, and I have some links later on that have some, that show, will go to uh, some, some demos and more details on that. So some, some additional features, we're, we're currently on the Beryllium release in um, Open Daylight. It's the fourth release um, of Open Daylight. Just came out a, a few weeks ago. Uh, this is a set of kind of key features in addition to what we already talked about, basic layer two, layer three, NAT. Um, high availability was first introduced in this release, so clustering of uh, multiple controller nodes for both high availability and as well as scaling. Uh, integration with service function chaining, uh, which I won't go into in too much detail in today, but uh, that's uh, in support of, uh, this is used in support of uh, NFV, network function virtualization. We use, we use the, the, uh, op the uh, OpenStack agent for uh, DHCP as well as uh, metadata support, um, and that, although that's something that we're, we're planning to implement probably in this next go around. Uh, security group support, the complete, we have some simple security groups that work just with OpenFlow, but then more complete that work with contract support, but then you need the most recent version of OVS for that. Um, load balancing, uh, hardware VTAP support as I, I said earlier, this is really the southbound protocol piece of it. Um, the northbound is coming next. And then a, a, a user interface that will allow you to visualize the network to uh, understand. You, you, can, you get your, um, at OpenStack you, GUI, you can you get a kind of really high level abstraction. This provides a little more uh, uh, network related uh, view of it to show you what, uh, both a, a logical view as well as a physical view of where everything sits. You can drill down to each, uh, each device if, uh, you know, say something's not working right or you want to understand what's going on. So some things coming up. Um, we, uh, as part of Boron, we plan to make this NetVert as a separate project, which that is done now. There's, uh, we, got a, we have a, we plan to really work hard on uh, clustering, scalability, and performance. We have a pretty good feature set at this point and just really drive hard on these, uh, making it really work uh, reliably and, and scale. Um, adding, we have uh, floating IP, but we're, we're, we're going to be adding uh, the network at SNAT, network uh, and address port translation. 
this requires really to work well at some more some additional features from OVS, which are just coming out. And uh, um, complete the layer two gateway support so we can go open stack using a layer two gateway and in through the, uh, into the, um, all integrate it with the rest of the system to allow uh, these, uh, everything to work together. Um, possibly adding L3 support for that, but that's, that's a stretch. Um, V6 support, IPv6, uh, more work on SFC. The first, you know, what we have right now is kind of a proof of concept. It, um, um, you know, works for a particular use case, but there's more integration required for it within OpenStack that needs to be done. Um, and, and then more work that needs to be done in OVS to really support it, possibly other, other uh, data paths. Um, there have been some other talks on that this, this, uh, this week. Um, integrating with VPN service, um, and then also uh, providing container networking. Currently, we're looking at the, using the Courier project, and we actually have a, a POC, kind of basically works. So that's, uh, that's looking pretty good. Um, just to touch on NFV, uh, this is mainly worked out of the work done out of the OP NFV project or integrated. So there's OpenStack, Open Daylight, OVS. Uh, it's uh, a lot of the same support, but um, integration with another project within um, Open Daylight as well. Um, if you want to try some of this stuff out, we have some really good demos uh, just op so, um, on our on our wiki. There's uh, it. it it's, uh, and it's just an OVA file that will give you, in this case, is a picture of three VMs, a couple of compute nodes, um, a router node for talking externally. There are scripts and um, you know, built-in OpenStack to, to make it all work. Um, very easy way to start out. So if you want to learn more, give it a try. Use that demo. This is available as a technology preview as part of Red Hat op OpenStack platform version 8. Um, there's the demo. And we're always looking for people to, to work with us upstream. Netvert Project and OVSDB are the main ones that I work on, but there's lots of other things that, uh, that you can do. So thank you. <laughs>